In today's video, once again, we're testing out something you wanted to know. What types of candy can we turn into cotton candy? All right, guys, we've done some stuff similar to this before, but every time we do, you guys ask to see more of it. So we've got our cotton candy machine and we have several types of non-cotton candy and we're gonna see if we can turn one into the other. Here's the basic idea. We've got several types of confections that we haven't yet tested in our cotton candy machine and we're going to see how well they change from a solid state to a fluffy one. You got quite a few different types of candy I here. I did, we've got several, and most of them are based on comments, but some of them are just based on what I thought would be fun to try. Yep. So we're just going to start trying different types of candy. We do have our little bullet blender here, so we can powderize them somewhat, mm -hmm. and I think that gives us a slightly better chance, although the cotton candy sugar, as it comes in the container, is not very fine. So Pretty big grain. There's a reason we've intentionally left things as sort of larger pieces in the past, is, it works pretty good if you have the right kind of materials. But just to give everything a decent chance, I think for the most part, we are going to go with fairly small powder. What do you want to start with? I don't know. Okay, so I do want to address something real quick. You got a lot of different types of candy at the store. Now, bottle caps was one that was just all over. Like, I don't know why that was such a popular comment, but it was. Pixie sticks, I get why you want to see that one. It's already a powder. Yeah, what happens if you just pour pixie sticks in there? You had mentioned that you got a lot of candies because they're already powdery. However, I have my doubts that those are gonna work best because to make cotton candy, the sugar has to dissolve and then sort of string up. Now, I've found in the past when we've done this with everything from types of juice to sodas, we tried a coffee one once, it worked okay. The more powdery something is doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work better, it might pour into the machine, but we need something with more of a granulated sugar substance for it to work. So something I'm doing right now, I'm checking the ingredients of all these candies and honestly, most of them the main ingredient is dextrose, which is a type of sugar, mm -hmm. but it's not the same type of sugar that we just normally use. So this just says sugar, which means it's probably sucrose, and we're, we're just gonna try. We don't know if that's gonna make a big difference or not. So like bottle caps and sweet tarts, mm -hmm. Those are powders that are compressed really hard into a candy shape. I don't know if that's how the Lifesaver mints are made. These ones have sugar and then corn syrup as the first ingredients, and we've okay. had success with that before, as are the cinnamon hard candies, corn syrup and sugar. But most of the okay. rest of these are dextrose, so it'll be interesting to see what I'm results gonna, we get. I'm going to call it now. Those are gonna do better. Anything with dextrose as the first ingredient, I don't think is gonna do as well. Let's try bottle caps. I think you we should uh, rip the, yep. separate out by flavor. So that's not a ton, but that is about the amount of sugar that gets put into the machine at once if you're just trying to make some cotton candy. So I think as a start, this will be a good amount. <laughs> you can taste it right out of the air. I'm just feeling really sad for purple and very upset about orange. Okay, we're All pretty right. wisp free. That just sort of blew away. <laughs> I don't see any wisps. I see dust in the air. Dust in the wind. I just dropped in three unbroken bottle caps, and I don't know what that's gonna do. We poured in all of the red powder, and we got like no cotton candy anything out of it. All right, you're about to see more red powder in this because I'm just gonna break open a whole lot of pixie sticks in here. Ready, Ready. for a giant pile of dust? gonna be a cloud again, I think. And... <laughs> Some of that mist did not land in the machine properly. Uh, I tried, I did my it's, best. It's not exactly a funnel shape. Oh, there we go, little bits, little bits. All right, you wanna give this a taste with me, this massive quantity of pixie stick. Look at all cotton candy this. We've got. Mm. It is sour. Okay, look, the flavor's fantastic. It's pixie stick. I brush my teeth. It oh, bad. that's gotta taste awful. We're going to double the triple that I did last time. Ha uh ha, -huh. Callie No Sneeze. That's your new nickname. Cool. Yeah. It worked less? Yeah. We didn't have any success when we blended our bottle caps. Now, I honestly think because these are so powdery, the Smarties are gonna react kind of similarly. I'm just gonna toss a whole handful. This is an entire pack of Smarties may way overbalance the machine, let's find out. 
I got most of them in there. Ow. As I reached in, I felt like... Oh, yeah! Ooh, ow! Ooh, don't do that! Also... I don't know why he didn't set ow and then I immediately had to follow suit, but I did. Also, this time I just put the cone right there. Yeah. And look what built up on it. Burning hot dextrose. So it's clearly melting the Smarties and spraying it out, but the dextrose doesn't form into strands the same way. So this is what we end up with. Tic Tacs, first ingredient is sugar. Those are gonna work. Second ingredient is malodextrin. Okay. So I think we're just gonna take this little handful of orange Tic Tacs. Yeah. I, I, again, I want to do all one color for the, you know, keeping everything consistent. And I'm just gonna throw these Tic Tacs in and see what they do. Orange Tic Tacs, wow, that came One got launched like... across the room. <laughs> that was so cool. It smells like orange Tic Tacs. That's good. Let's try it like that. Some chunks and some powder and some that's nearly the same. Oh, that smells like sour, but not bad sour. Just a lot of sour. That'll be interesting. Wow. Too much. Lots of splatter. We have made a lot of messes with cotton candy in our time, but never quite like Tic Tacs. This is the wispiest. This is the messiest we have ever had. I especially like the buildup that's happened on the sides of our cotton candy machine. It's, it's not burned. Nice. Like we normally, when we are putting things in here, it's not supposed to go in here. We normally burn it. This isn't burned. It's just like gooey candy at this point. That's pretty good. Yeah. The lifesavers. This is the, it's not a texture I think will work, but the ingredients, I mean, maybe. <laughs> what? Whoa! Yeah, look at that. Oh my happy day. I got more. So that's uh, not quite as good of a result as real cotton candy sugar, but it's that's still amazing. pretty dang good. Did we just make mint cotton candy? I think we made strong mint cotton candy too. It's still going actually. So the bigger pieces that didn't melt yeah, right away. Yeah, still going. I'm not doing a good job of scooping it. It's not like dispersing yeah. quite the same way as normal, but look how white it is. Fluffy cloud-like mint cotton candy. Mint clouds. Oh, I'm so happy right now. Yes! <laughs> oh, that's like eating a lot of breath mints at once. That's intense. Uh, that's a lot of breath mints at once. That is minty. Very, very minty. That is very interesting and different, and it works well. Wow. So I'm going to say the key is sugar. Yep, real sugar. Sugar, not dextrose. dextrose. These are corn syrup, sugar, natural and artificial flavor, Red 40. So it's mostly corn syrup and sugar, which is what a lot of hard candy is made out of. We've made it before, it's worked. So I wanna try these. Um, I don't want to powderize them, but I wanna break them up into slightly smaller pieces. So I'm just gonna whack them with a spoon. I bet this is actually gonna work really well. Oh, it's though. gonna be beautiful. I bet we're gonna get some strong cinnamon cotton candy. Yes. Yes. Okay, so maybe not quite as cohesive and you know no, what? They're bigger, they're thicker it's, strands. Yeah, that's the corn syrup. Yeah. We've done corn syrup, like we cooked it, just corn syrup by itself until it was a hard candy stage. And then we put it in the machine and it does this. It, it has like, it's almost Sparkly. thin sheets rather than pure strands. When we've made the old time version of cotton candy, this is it's, what it was like. It's brittle mm -hmm. and crunchy. It doesn't bend and squish the same way normal cotton candy does. It just crunches and then dissolves. Before it starts dissolving, you're almost worried it might like cut your tongue or something. Yeah, yeah. but it's sharp, it's like fiberglass. Oh, okay, he does so help. So more fluffy. All right, so last time we actually had the motor on, but the heat turned off and so it was kind of cool and when we turn the heater back on, we definitely are getting back to fluffy. It's still not the same. It does have that sort of like fiberglassy texture, but it's fluffier. Comparatively. Relatively, that's cotton candy compared to the cotton shards. That is fluffy, cotton candy-like. A good but not overpowering cinnamon flavor. Yep. Sugar, corn syrup combinations, those work. And I yeah. think the first time we did this, we used Lifesavers, and we found Lifesavers were great. Jolly Ranchers also work pretty well, although if I remember right, the flavor with Jolly Ranchers is almost too strong. We're willing to do more of this if you have more suggestions, but it needs to be candy with sugar and corn syrup as the first ingredients, yeah. no dextrose. So if you have candy that follows that criteria, let us know and we would totally try this again. Wait, what? Oh, there is, there is some, uh, 
I did it, magic. Guys, that's not all. You know we've always got more for you to see. Hit that box up at the top for our most recent video and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.